you know, if a player wants butter in his normal life and then he comes to England and can't have it, it's just, it's just a, it just winds people up. BBC Sounds. Sven was always, as you can see, was so relaxed about what we did. He was, he was comfortable treating us as adults, um, which we weren't. So he got that wrong, really. <laughs> Having said that, it was, it was nice to have a, you know, relaxed atmosphere. Um, and then obviously they went completely the opposite way with with Capello, and uh, we knew straight away how it was. Some of the rules, like I, I, I did get it. I mean, the butter one was I, I didn't get. I don't, you know, we weren't allowed butter. That was a bit, a bit <laughs> strange. Well, yeah, like I, I don't really know what we were getting out of it. You know, I have, I have butter at home, but I go away from England for three days, three to ten days, and I'm not allowed it. Or, or ketchup or... When does he say that? Or does it just never appear? No, he's just taken off the tables, yeah. Just, just, it was banned. But hang on, if you want ketchup, you surely ask a waitress or someone. Yeah, they, they said or... it's not it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the well, theory? I think he's an absolute legend of a manager, Capello. Like, amazing. But I think when he, he realised sort of there was, there was a few little things that, you know, we didn't enjoy, things like that, we just, I just felt was was slightly ridiculous um and then when the world cup wasn't going to plan he sort of tried to introduce things like back in because he knew we weren't happy Crouchy, are you telling me <laughs> that the national team would celebrate and be motivated by enjoying a bottle of ketchup <laughs> no i'm not saying that what i'm saying is it's little things like that just wind you up it's like what what is the point of that it's not it's not achieving anything. Like if you cut if you cut out butter out of your diet completely, or or ketchup, or you know fat. If you made a, a conscious effort to improve your diet, I get it. But if you're allowed butter and you know the whole rest of the time out in the outside world, and you meet up with England, you know if a player wants butter in his normal life, <laughs> and then he comes to England and can't have it, it's just it's just a just winds people up. But if you're wound up about it, right, and you say Capello has a chat with Bex and probably does have this chat about, you know, whilst I'm manager, these things happen with the idea that he then goes and tells the rest of the players, right? Mm. Does Bex at any point have to sit down and tell you, boys, ketchup's off, butter's... <laughs> <Bad news. laughs> That's the end of butter at breakfast. <laughs> Bad news, lads. Do you want me to We're go back on Fabio. any of this? <laughs> <laughs> You just don't know that this is going on with the national team, you know? <laughs> well, listen, this is, you know, we're going down to the nitty gritty of it. You know, why, why have we won a World Cup? No butter. <laughs> Could you not, was anyone tempted to smuggle in some contraband? Like, was there like illicit drop-offs of ketchup? I couldn't made? possibly, I couldn't possibly comment on that. So there was. Smug ketchup, Chris, and butter was being smuggled in in one yeah. of the weirdest smuggling operations ever seen in mainland Britain. Probably got all these ketchup dealers hanging around in the bushes at the Grove. Don't worry, boys. <laughs> opening their coats and they had a range of different ketchups. Yeah, lads, what do you want? Ketchup or butter? Crouch, you've got some lovely butter. <laughs> butter. Contraband. <laughs> Would it really piss him off if you decided to do a full-on TV advert for, like, I can't believe it's not butter or something? <laughs> because that'd be fine because it's not butter. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> It'd be all over it. Diet is so important in football, but I just don't, I don't understand. Oh, yeah. But then there's the been pedantic, isn't there? Exactly. If, if you're having it at home. Who was the manager after Capello, Crouchy? Uh, it was Hodgson, wasn't it? So did he sort of introduce the ketchup back or was it a Is that how he tries to win you over? The first meeting, he stands up and he just brandishes a massive bottle of tomato ketchup. There he goes. Here we go, lads. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Daddy's home. That Peter Crouch podcast from BBC Five Live. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.